All right, we're going to start off this lesson by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakadash, and uh, double honor to the apostles, all right, and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and have taught us this word in truth and sincerity. And peace and mercy to the whole full elect, starting with 144,000, the first fruits of the elect that are teaching this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. All right, and uh, as well as your little amount of sisters that believe peace and mercy to you and your household. So we're here, you know, by the graces and the mercy of Yahweh Shemel Shai, um, keeping uh, the Feast of Tabernacles, all right, in spirit and in faith. And uh, when you go into the, the Feast of Tabernacles, right, which is carried out uh, near uh, fall, which is where we're in now, and basically, uh, you would gather in uh, your fruits, right? Your crop. And uh, coming later, a couple months later, you would have uh, the spring, right? Where you would plant and then you would give your first fruits, your first in increase to the Heavenly Father. Dedicate that to the Heavenly Father. In the spirit, the first fruits are the whole full elect. Okay, so let's just start with uh, Leviticus going into the Feast of Tabernacles. 23? Yeah, you get that for me, brother? Yeah, I got it. 23, 23 and uh, start 34. from 30. Yeah, 33. 33? Yeah, go ahead. And the house spake unto Moses, saying, speak unto the children of Israel, saying, the 13th day of this Salakia, this 15th of the Sabbath month, shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days unto your house. Mm-hmm. On the first day shall be a holy convocation, and shall do no servile work therein. Seven days he shall offer an offering made by, by fire unto Yahweh. And on the eighth day shall be a holy convocation unto you. Mm -hmm. He shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh. It is a solemn assembly, and he shall do no servile work therein. Mm -hmm. These are the priests of Yahweh, which he shall proclaim to be holy convocations. To offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh, a burnt offering and a meat offering, a sacrifice, and drink offerings, everything upon this day. Con, what verse you at? Con, Con, go to 44. Keep reading. Beside the Shabbat of the Yahweh, beside your gift, and beside all your vows, and beside all your people offerings, we should give unto Yahweh. Also, in the 15th day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruit of the land, Right. shall keep a feast on Yahweh seven days. On the first day shall be a Shabbat, and on the eighth day shall be a Shabbat. And when you go into the Feast of Tabernacles, we kept it leaving Egypt in the wilderness, and we kept it in booth or tents made by trees, right? And uh, different various leaves and whatnot. And it would establish those booths on top of uh, their, their houses, right? On the housetop. So that was a humbling thing, but you know, also representing the fact that the Lord took care of us, all right, and guided us through the captivity of Egypt, all right, and uh, nurturing us through the wilderness, even though we're, we were being rebellious as all hell. All right, go ahead. And we shall take you on the first day the bowls of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, right. and the bowls of thick trees, and willows of the brook, and ye shall rejoice before you have your power seven days. All right. And he shall keep it a feast unto Yahweh seven days in the year. It shall be a statue forever in your generations. Ye shall celebrate it, it in the seventh month. Ye shall dwell in booths seven days. All that are Israelites born shall dwell in booths. Mm -hmm. That your generations may know that I made the children of Israel to dwell in booths. When I brought them out of the land of Egypt, I am Yahweh, your power. Right. And uh, as we know, man, the scriptures is is always spiritual and uh literal right so we go through that shalom brother shalom you know we go through that especially because we got a lot of newer brothers so it's important for you to know what the high holy days are because it's a part of our heritage and our customs um but in the spirit man that you what you see in, in the, a common theme in the scriptures is the lord uh uses farming as an allegory and a metaphor you know, and uh, the Heavenly Father, if a brother can get a precept for me talking about Yahweh Shai being the first spirit or the first fruit, because uh, 
when you go into it, Yahweh Shai, it's the first, it's the, it's the spirit, it's the first spirit ever created by the Heavenly Father. That's right. right. Yep. One hundred percent. When you go into uh, the Hebrew for solemn feast, the word is kadat, and it also speaks to um, a celebration and being sincere. Being sincere but a celebration because it also says um, to and fro, which means you know we, we're going to celebrate. We're going to you know um, break bread with each other. We're going to have some yayan, and we're, we're going to go to and fro. We are going to well, be in that spirit. Well, that's the thing, right? Because uh, you got everything's uh, applies. There's a good and a bad, and the spiritual and the physical, right? And in the spirit, when you look at the gathering in, it's spiritual that this is happening now because Apostle Dahar dubbed this year uh, the whole full year that all the prophecies come to pass, right? And here we are. We witness a lot of prophecies come to pass. We still got a couple months going for the year, and the Lord is gathering his, his elect, his first fruits, spiritually. Onto themselves. We just finished the Day of Atonement, you know, and there's a lot of talks of, uh, you know, lockdowns, jabby jabs coming back, all these things, different things. So, and the winter, man, if you didn't, if you didn't plant crops for the winter and gather them in, you were, you were struggling. All right. So the winter could also signify a struggle, right? So low willing, we see a lot more uh, prophecy play out. And the Lord's gonna get it's gonna get busy, he's gonna get real serious. So ultimately with this thing is to remember that we are blessed even though we're going through all these trials and tribulations. It's still a remembrance of us being blessed by that. Yeah, we're close to the end. We're close to the end. You know? That's right. The feast is what comes with knowledge, the gathering, right? It's about breaking bread, breaking precepts down. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. Beautiful. Um, did a brother find a precept uh, explaining how shall being that first fruit? Okay. In Colossians one verse fifteen. Mm -hmm. Who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature? Beautiful, right? And Yahweh Shai, that's Yahweh Shai. So in a spiritual sense, you could say Yahweh Shai is the first seed uh, that the Most High planted, right? And then you got prototypes of Yahweh Shai under him, which are the whole full elect. And they're also linked to being the first fruits. All right. So, you know, here we, we have uh, the elect. Yahweh was already planted, fulfilled his law as a sacrifice. So we can receive the latter rain in the spirit, which is, you know, the Holy Spirit. And to prophesy in these latter days. Is there more on that, Ak? Yeah. For by him were all things created. Right. That, that are in heaven and that are in earth, mm -hmm. visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions. And principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Khan, that's right. You know, Yahweh Shai is also likened to being a, a husbandman, a planter. He's also likened to be a vine. You know? Is there more on that? That's and, it. Yeah, and he is because and he is because of all and he is before all things, and by him all things consist, and he is the head of the body. The church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the he might have the preeminence. That's pretty much it. Khan, beautiful. Uh, I got something going into uh, the Feast of Tabernacles with uh, the Kerem and the Mm-hmm. So this is John chapter seven, verse um, verse seven. 
It says the world cannot hate you, but you will hate it because it's just a river that the works that are not evil. When you up unto this feast, I will not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet for come. When he had said these words unto them, he had both stood in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, then went he also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. So he didn't want to go with the apostles and the disciples, which later on became apostles, because they were going to cause a disturbance and an uproar. Right? And he didn't want to be announced at that time, uh, going back to the prophecy that was fulfilled in Isaiah, that I've spoken of in Isaiah, uh, chapter 32 and 2, on how he's not going to create disturbance and, and create, cause problems right. and establish authority, right? Right. So he wanted, he went in secret, so he put on a disguise. And when he put on that disguise, he exposed the Jews or the common folk uh, of that time, mm -hmm. showing how they weren't faithful. You know, they didn't believe in him, but they didn't, and it also showed they didn't really believe in the feast as well. Right. I'm really serving the Yahweh Right. Uh, verse, verse 11, then the Jews saw him at the feast and said, where is he? So they asked where he is because, you know, they were enticed and they were, they were, they were like, uh, they were like uh, bewildered or bewildered or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yep. When, when it came to all the miracles that he did, they were like interested in that. Right. But the thing is, though, he was already in Galilee. Why didn't you go? Why didn't you go and see him while he was in Galilee? Why are you waiting for now the feast to come? That's right. So it shows like where our people's minds are at. They're not really about the truth. Con. You know, they just want to be entertained. That's right. Right. So uh, verse 12, and there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said he is a good man, others said nay, but he deceived the people. So when he put on that disguise, he exposed everybody at the feast. So, so when you come to the feast, man, you're supposed to have good intentions. Con. Right. You're not supposed to come in a dull spirit. Like, what are you really here for? Are you here just to eat a lamb dinner? Right? Are you just to light the menorah and recite things and then you go home and do your business? So just Yahweh Shai disguising himself, it really exposed people's mentality, right? Mm. Uh, verse 13, how be it no man spake openly of him for fear of the Jews. And you know, another thing too, the reason why a lot of people were learning is because of established authority back then. The rulers, because it was really the rulers that were slandering Yahweh Shai the most because they were offended. So a lot of people, they just jump on the bandwagon to slander our Lord, uh -huh. right? So that's what you're going to see happen. That's what you're going to see take, take place. You may see people just hop on the bandwagon because it's just something to do, uh -huh. right? But that's not what the feast is about. It's really to dedicate uh, yourself to worshiping Yahweh, Hashem, and Shine, sincerity and truth. Yeah, keep you in remembrance. That's right. That's right. Um, now it says here, verse 13, how be it? No man spake openly of him for fear of the Jews. How about the midst of the feast? Yahweh I went up into the temple and taught. So even though he was in disguise, it, it shows that he wasn't coming in deception. He was teaching, he was showing you how to worship the Lord privately. Right. Right? So a lot of people when they read this, oh yeah, you know, this is a form of no, he, he's he's coming, he's showing the, the people how to worship the Lord privately and not to cause a disturbance. Because when you read on down, he was doing the work. He was teaching, he was asking questions, and he was enlightening the people. Con. So that's what you're supposed to do. You know, that's the example. You can you can pretend all you want. You can put on a disguise, but you got to come in the spirit of the world. And the truth. So that's all I got. You got some, uh, Shemai? Um, yeah. Okay. Then no, you mentioned about the uh, winter, right? Right, right. Con. Con. That's right. That's right. That's right. Proverbs 20 verse 4. It says, the sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Mm. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. <laughs> so I just wanted to bring that up, man, because yep. this is a constant labor, man. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. You gotta take this Right, that's right, man. That's right. Yeah. 
and all of that. That's all part of the work. That's right. That's right. Hey, a lot of camps don't like to go out and teach in the winter, right? And then, and that's ignorant. And I'll say that because you don't know when the harvest is coming. That's right. Right? And the scripture you just read is the, uh, the sluggard, you know, won't plow because of the reason cold. And uh, when the harvest comes, he's found wanting, something like that. Right? Right. Right. And the Lord is going to say, I never do you. Mm -hmm. you know? That's right. That's, that's the form of you begging to try and receive that mercy. Right? That's right. You didn't want to have the 100% doctrine. You didn't want to teach the 100% truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Playing with the Lord's name. All of these things. That's right? right. That's right. And then just to add on to what um, the Bar was saying, because um, the Aushai took part, part in the peace privately. Right. And here it is, you have guys on the day like Pops over here that's coming out with elaborate stunts, man, with horses and gimmicks. garments and gimmicks and all these things, man. And Yahweh Shai showed the, 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 the ultimate example of humility. Man. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I mean? So what are you doing, man? That's right. You know, we can uh, model in after him. That's right. You know, that's it. Khan, beautiful. Beautiful. And precepts? I was going to Romans 4.1. All right. Actors. That's right, man. Right? That's right. And it's holy. It's separate. That's right. It's not a fool in the world, right? Don't bring out furniture around here, but the brothers start sidelining you, man. Brothers got weird. Right. Right. And I just got weird because the word the word weird doesn't mean what you think it means. Right. Right. Okay. Um, weirdo is the word that you use it. Right. I'm going to work weird. Come on, a second. So, uh, bodies and living sacrifice only acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reason that they service. And that word reasonable is with the logic. Right? Logic is what makes sense. All right? And you can't have emotions because there's no time we say, hey, get me the scripture or chapter emotions, such and such. Lord, don't give the emotions, friends. That is the logic, but it must be attached with emotions. Yeah. All right? And, you know, Khan, if I could say something on that, brother, too, because a lot of you, you uh, younger brothers, I mean, well, we've all been through it, too. You know, you first come into truth, you get this knowledge, and then, you know, you hear the concept of what it is to be a man in, in the sight of the Lord. And then, you know, you kind of lot you kind of neg neglect and get too hard. You also have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself because the moment you're not, that's uh, room for Satan to get in and to deceive you. You know, so this thing's about controlling your emotions, like the brother's saying, you know. So that word weird uh, can be adjusted most time, but we weren't taught that. We thought we're to be on a negative side, but we're emerged from uh, the 40, sort of 40 hundreds, having power control fate, mm. right? Weird, spelled so with Y-R-D, fate, chance, the fortune, destiny, the fates, right? So most of is word in that sense. Right? Weirdo now is where people go to, to the left, we're going to be, we're going to be coming with most of the weirdo, because the word weirdo means what, what it says it means today. Alright? Yep. That's the number. Con. Definitely had a different connotation in the Quaker English. That's the fun. Con. You have some? Brother, yeah. you have some? Zachariah um, 14, verse 17. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not come to worship, all the any all the families of the earth upon Jerusalem mm -hmm. to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. Mm. And, and <laughs> shall and if God. the families of Egypt go not go not up and call not and that's why a lot of people that uh, will not come our people because they're not. 
the worst people in the worst group, man. They're known as categories. They have sheep, there's vipers, there's swines, there's dogs, and there's snakes, man. Right? We said only the sheep, the lost sheep out of Israel. So that rain that has been falling on people, on, on, on people in this literal sense, is the truth now that falling on people in the outer court. Right? That's the right. Rain. That's right. So they're, so they're dry ground. That's right. right. And if the famines of Egypt go not up and come not, that have no rain, and there shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite the their, their, their heavens that come not up. Oh, I can keep the, the feast of Tabernacle. Uh, the plague that was born was a missile, man. Right? <laughs> that dry ground, the plague back, back then was actually a literal plague. But now the plague in the spiritual sense will be literal, right? Because the Lord is saying, I'm going to Right? But to the dry ground, the one that, that rain didn't fall on, the shoe didn't fall on, guess what? They're missile food, man. They're fuel for fire, so to speak. Right? Yep. Jacob trouble is going to be. Yeah. Said, this shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all the nations that come not up to keep the feast of Tabernacle. And now I'm going to live in the spirit of Egypt. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right? And the majority of our people are Egyptians. All right. Day That's right. Present day Babylonians. Yeah. Yeah, and people are dying, like the middle class and the poor. That's they, right. They're 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 dying, but they're rolling on a whole new system, and uh, they want people to to like sub, they want people to, want people to, like to submit, you know, basically, right? Mm -hmm. And guess what? It's the Lord's telling you, Jesus, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We know as we say you're a people. Listen, man. You ever hear him tell you how about my shadow? You're in the bus, man. All right. You're you're the enemies. Okay, because you. We weren't given the uh, uh, spirit to be subjected to, right? We're not subjected to the Abba Like We're willing and submitting, right? That shows that uh, uh, humility, okay? But after mercy, we must show humility of saying, you know what? You know, we repent. Yeah. We're sorry. Right? Well, you know, Khan, man, beautiful point because the scriptures talk about the mercies of David. And uh, look at how David dealt with Saul, right? He was merciful. So it makes sense that being merciful towards anybody, that the Lord will show you mercy. All right. You know? And that's what, that's, what the, that's what it's about, too, as well. Conduct. Right? Your spiritual conduct. You mentioned, you know, we all, we're all different spirits, so we're all into different things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Outside of the truth and whatnot. But you have to have self-awareness to know what to bring in among the, the congregation. It's a holy congregation. So that's conduct. Right? And when you go into conduct, I was just looking up the etymology real quick. It says, uh, with, right, con, duck to lead. So to guide, lead, accompany, and show the way. Accompany and show the way. So the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, man, that's the guide. Did you say company? Uh, company. A company. You want company means? A company. A company. Okay. Yeah. It's a. Uh it's a, a group that goes back to breaking bread. Okay. There you go. Yeah. It says behave in a certain way. So there's a, the, the Holy Spirit is going to guide you to be like Yahweh Shai. Right. Within your own spirit. You got to frame yourself in this truth. And in that day shall there be upon the bells of the horses holiness upon the Lord and the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the vows before the altar. So we're spiritually on the altar right now. Right. We're, we're, we're live, we're on the altar, you know, every day. Especially right. when we're on the camp, on, on the highways. You know? Con, so we're con. We're spiritually on the altar, you know, like 24-7. Right. Hence, uh, living sacrifice. And ye, yea, every, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness upon the Lord of hosts. <laughs> mm -hmm. the right, ultimate poet. Yeah, yeah. that's right, man. That's right. Yea, every every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness upon the Lord of hosts, and all they that sacrifice shall come and take take of them and see if therein, and that in that day there shall be no more Canaanites in the house of the Lord of hosts. Right? Yep. Basically, that like this is. Like this is basically Egypt, you know, or Canaan, you know, because Canada is basically named after Canaan. Right? Con. Uh, no, the Kanata, right? Yeah, Canaan. Yeah, 
so the, you know, so this pig is is gonna be it's gonna get wasted too, like certain parts of Canada as well. Yeah. And it's us um, leaving ourselves of that nationality, giving to us at birth. I mean, I don't think anybody here was San Kate anymore. They see, and they see, they see it in the world, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so the brotherhood, no, hey, we're Israelites, man. I don't see no right. brother, there's nothing other than Israelites. You know what I mean? No, no Canaanites. No Canaanites here. Man. That's right. That's right. Any other precepts? You got one? All right. Read loud, eh? Okay. Just to go back to when you were talking about the first fruits. Right. Uh, Ezekiel 20 and 40. Mm -hmm. Or in my holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Lord, how there shall all the house of Israel, all of them, the land, serve me. There will I accept them, and there will I require your offerings. First fruit, first fruits of your oblations with all your holy things. Mm -hmm. so we're talking about the first fruits, right? It's a holy uh, assembly, right? We bring ourselves a spiritual sacrifice unto the Lord. Right. And even when you bring a sacrifice, a physical sacrifice unto the Lord, you have to bring it, bring it on the altar. Somebody's got to burn it. Right? Yep. Okay, so verse 21 yep. I will accept you with your sweet savor when I bring you out from the people and gather you out of the country. Oh, wow. Wherein ye have been scattered, and I will be sanctified in you for the heathen. So, for that, they're going to go through their own spiritual fires, be purging them. So, by the time how much I get here, there's going to be a sweet savor unto the Lord. That's right. So, he's going to take the ones that smell good to Oh, you smell good, you smell good, you smell good. The ones that smell bad, but he left them behind and get burnt. Right. Right. That's an off sacrifice. Exactly. You know? Well, the Lord, remember that uh, our, our wedding was conducted in the ancient world, but the woman who left the Soaked in oil. Prepare for 12, 12 months, so, man. So the, so the oil is that was the knowledge, right? So yeah. we're, we're marinating in the oil, right? So the brother said, you know, it says, oh, brother, sleep. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. And from even in, in time and memoriam, what it came to, came that was supposed to be a sacrifice of flesh, and here he comes showing up with fruit. Uh, right, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you know, I wanted to also say too, because you read that, you read that in that precept, Balls, all how, you, we would dedicate the first fruits to the Lord. Yeah. So the first fruits, being the elect, are dedicated to the Lord. Yeah. You know, and that's why they're plucked out. See, the earth is like uh, soil, soil ground. The Lord planted the elect, and he's also going to pluck them out. We're going to get beamed up out of here, Lord willing, we're of the whole full elect. You know, uh, I got a precept, actually. This is uh, James chapter 5, verse 7, and it reads... Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruits of the earth, and hath long patience for it. Right, because farming, man, it's a hard job. Hey, a lot of us right now, some of us are in some good shape, but we went out there, we started farming, and we'd be dog tired. You know, because it's a different kind of work, you know, but the Lord is, is, is again, re referring to uh, husbandry, right, and planting. So it says, for it, until he receive the early and latter rain. So we're being gathered in right now, you know, and you, when you go into it spiritually, that latter rain happened in Acts, the second chapter. When Yahushua went up. And then they got the latter rain, which is the Holy Spirit. All right? And then we got it again in, in, in 1969 through Abba Bivens, who we believe is uh, Elijah. All right? In the spirit. And here we are in the latter days prophesying, you know, waiting for Yahweh Shai. That's it on that. Yep. This is uh, Matthew 9, 37. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, right. but the laborers are few. Beautiful. And, um, the reason I brought that out is because it's pretty much open season for us to, you know, a lot of the, not a lot of people have this knowledge. You know, for the ones of us that do, that are blessed with this knowledge, all right, we gotta do our part. You yeah. Know what I'm yep, you gotta put in work. So, Right? So let's, mm -hmm. let's capitalize on this opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because the labels are few, but it's more for us then. You got to try to say it. Yeah, man. Hey, there's lots of work to be done. 
So let's, you know, let's capitalize on it. Yep. And in verse 38, it says, Pray ye therefore the Lord Yahweh of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. All right? And the harvest is ultimately receiving that kingdom and that glory, right? Yeah. Receiving salvation. Yeah. Hey, even even praying for the brotherhood, you know, you gotta you know pray for the think about the brotherhood worldwide, and and pray the Lord increase them. That's right. That's right. And you gotta recognize your office too. Some brothers are tech savvy. Some brothers are good orators. So you gotta know where you fit in. Yep. Because everybody's a brick. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. and it's so powerful, you know, all the guys, all right? So they brought it, and then they have, like, have um, Moses with five books, all right? Does it make him, Moses is the king. Right. It's, it's, it's not, you it need to overdive, to the scripture says it's part of the body. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. So you say a brother or, or strong in faith, and the brother, you know, that's going to help him up. Yep. Right? Or not a strong, but it's, it's useful. Right. That's right, that's right. And that's why hum humility is key, man. Because every brother, like, you know, everybody is different. Like you said, there's different levels and different measures, I should say. And uh, there's a precept that I'm thinking about. I'm just going to roughly quote it, but it talks about how some, some men can eat meat and some vegetables. And that goes into, like, breakdowns. Some breakdowns a little bit more deeper. And some men are more, you know, they have that portion. They can go into it like Zechariah, or not Zechariah, Ezra's the 11th chapter. That's meat. Right? Some brothers can't eat of that. And some brothers got blessed with a portion of, of, of the vegetables, which is just simple breakdowns. You know? But all of this is it's important. Because, hey, if you just have a meat diet, <laughs> that's not a good diet. You need your vegetables too, you need your fruits, you need a balanced diet. Come on. Hebrews 5 4. Some strong meat belong to them that are full of them. Con. That's Even right. Even those who by reason of use of their senses exercise to discern both good and evil. You see? Beautiful, man. Yep. That exercise is basically being active in the spirit. You know, being productive, industrious. Look up that word, being industrious in the spirit. So you're always looking to advance uh, with the portion you were given. Adding to it, you know, and growing but thereby. Like, look at the apostles. You got, you got, you got, between the three of them, you got over a century of experience. That's in this life. That's in this life. You know, so that's a beautiful thing that we have elders and apostles like that on down. Ultimately starting with Yahweh Shai. Yeah, go ahead. First Corinthians 12, verse 27. Now we are the body of the Mashiach and members in particular. And Yahweh had sent some in, in the church, first apostles, secondary prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, and gifts of healings, helps, governments, adversities of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Are all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? But covet earnestly the best gifts, mm. and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. So that's going to the harvest. I mean, you said, uh, labor of the labor of the few, but the harvest is plenty. Yep. So the harvest is going to all the other, other beings that is called into this group. That's right. Right? That's the harvest, man, because it's not everyone's going to be a prophet, you know, but the, 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 the prophet is going to make a, a certain sound. And that's not a clarity that's going to have the harvest. Hey, that, that, that's, that, that's the sound of the shepherd will live, man. Right? That's right. That's right. Right? Come on. So, Rock 44 and 9. And some there be which have no memorial, who are perished as though they had never been, and are become as though they had never been born, and their children after them. Mm. But these were merciful men whose righteousness had not been forgotten. And I brought that up because some of us who are going to be well known um, on the highway to Bible and teaching this truth. And there's going to be some of us who, you know, little as you probably have maybe five followers, you may have a hundred. But we're all blessed because we're all trying to do this work. Yep. Right? Like, you think women are only in the kingdom for those men? We're going to say, oh, it's the heart. They're supposed to die, man. <laughs> I mean, in the spirit, but in a righteous way. You know what I mean? Right now, there's men going to be 
praise because what? It's made of us like us. Right. When it came, they made love to this thing, man. And when they said, that's the fucking fuck hardest. It was like, oh, he saw his skin right now. Got them the, 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 the bullouts. Yep. You know, he's yeah, from Wicked Jake's. He's like, oh, little boys, you know? Yep. Because he's getting his fame now. That's right. <laughs> but they get fame out for pushing for the wickedness. That's right. Right? Now, all that is order, man. Uh, and that, that word I was, I was thinking, you know, because I'm. Um, that's what they you know? mm -hmm. means fake. Okay. Okay. I got something here. I'm gonna read uh or you to why can you get uh John fifteen? Yeah. You can start at one really and just read down and get precepts off of that. One. I am the true vine, my father is the husband man. Every branch of me. Every branch of me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purge it. Right. That it may bring forth more fruit. You see, so, you know, you got the the reference of the vine being Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father being the husbandman. Right? And uh, basically, the, he the he Heavenly Father had already sealed the elect, and he actually gave the elect to Yahweh Shai. Okay? Now, a hey, balls all. Can you get uh, John seven? I think in twenty seven. Because to to for you to for you to for you to bear fruit, you have to abide. In, you have to abide in Yahweh Shai. If you don't abide in Yahweh Shai, you're not gonna be able to bear fruit because all power is given to Yahweh Shai. You got that out? Yeah, John seven twenty seven. Yeah. What did it say? John 7 and 27, albeit we know this man whence he is, but when how is Shai Hamashah cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. No, no, that's not it, Slack. Uh, give me two seconds. You can keep going on yours though, Ak. John 15 and 3, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken, Slack that spoken unto you. Abide in me. Come, I got it. Go to 37. Okay, uh, John 7 and 37. Mm -hmm. the last day, that great day of the feast, how shall I stood and cried, saying, Any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Right. So, Yahweh Shai is the one that supplies, you know, the measure. He supplies the measure because he's also a farmer and a husbandman like his father. Right, and the elect, you know, he's watering them. He's he's per, he's purging them as you're reading uh, the wad. Right, if you're if you're if you're a fruit, if you're a plant that bears fruit, you're going to be purged so you can bear more fruit. Right, and that's because the work is plenty, but the heart, the 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 labors are few. You know. That fits right with John fifteen and three. Right now, now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Con, beautiful. That's right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. Hey, let me get something for you real quick, Shemai. This is uh, Isaiah 58 and, and 11. And the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, shall get, guide thee continually. And satisfy thy soul in drought. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm very in drought right now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna, and it's going to get worse. <laughs> That's right. right. We are in the drought right now. Man. That's I right. I posted in the chat that 50% of Canadians are living paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. That's a serious thing. Man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Things are going to get worse. Yeah. You know, it's going to get worse. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. It doesn't affect us, man. That's right. That's for the wicked, man. That's, that's right. The heathen and the wicked of our people. That's right. You know, that's uh, that, that your device. Now. You trust it in this place. Uh, Jacob's trouble is really for them wicked, you know, guys, niggas. Right? Not for us. The Lord is preserving us, man. That's right, man. Yep. Yeah. It says, And the Lord Yahweh shall guide 
thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought to make fat that thy bones and thou shall be like a watered garden Right. 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 There's no water. Hey, our yeah. no slack it, brother. I was just gonna say our people uh, push home black culture. They're trying to mix this truth of black culture. You got a lot of you got a lot of like I don't know if you brothers know about that one Jake. He has a an academy, a karate academy, and it's called the Caves of Adullam. And the guy's name is Jones. Now, if you know Adullam, Adullam is one of the caves in the land of Judah, right? So I, w I went through his thing and he, he, he put some good, like wise stuff out there for kids and wherever, whatever, Jake primarily. But every time he starts a video, he says, Shalom. So I'm like, oh, you know, you're an Israelite, but you're half weighing the truth. And you can tell that he has a gift when it comes to speaking and breaking things down, but he doesn't have the gift of the Holy Spirit. You know, it's commercializing it, yep. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he plays as uh, like as a, as Yahweh Shai, but right. Yeah. It's not out yet. Twenty twenty four. Yeah, yeah. They actually show like the followers. They show Jake for followers. Esau as the Romans, you know? Okay, okay. Right. But yeah. the producers, JV. Yeah. Okay, and it says, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, uh, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. Right? So there's always there's always uh hey amen. The internet is flooded with truth. All right, the internet is flooded with this truth. And so is the world, man. This Israelite, like, my woman heard about, she does, uh, she has like a, uh, a group chat, cause she just, we just had our son, whatever, right? So we had a group chat with a bunch of other mothers. And this is one Jake woman said, uh, from Africa, in brackets, not a Hebrew Israelite. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. So, yo, it's, it's, you got to think like how uh, heavy the Lord is going to bring because you got Jakes that know they're Israelites, but, you know, they don't want to. Shalom. They don't want to, they don't want to, you know, bow down and uh, serve the Lord. Yeah, that's right. You can go back to John. Uh, John 15 and 4. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear the fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. Yo, so you got to be obsessed, obsessed with Yahweh Shai. You know, like, you, you have in the world, you had, like, for me, I used to play ball, so my favorite player was Kobe. And I was obsessed with him. I'd, I'd watch his interviews, his mannerisms, the way he plays, every little detail. That's how you got to be about Yahweh Shai. You know, it's kind of how you are with your first woman. You're enchanted. You know, you, you take in every little detail of her, right? Because, you know, you're infatuated. So this truth and your relationship with Yahweh Shai is intimate. You want to be like Yahweh Shai. You want to abide in him, meditate upon his works, you know, and everything, and everything else. Go ahead. Oh, where you going to? Things to the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, which strengthens me, that ties into how he's divine when he can't do this on your own. 
I think Revelation 3 and 18 says he'll come and sup with you. All right. Remember, he says, uh, I stand with Lord not. You know, so you have to let the Lord in. Right? You have to want him to be in your life. You know, the Lord is not going to break an entry. You know, be and eat, kick your door down, and, and sit down and force, force the, the That's right. You, right. That's right. You have to want it. That's right. He doesn't need us. Yeah. We need him. <laughs> Go ahead, up. Yeah, so that's that's obedience. Obedience, you know, that's how that's how we show our love to the heavenly Father and His Son, it's by being obedient to the best of our abilities according to the measure given to us. You know, all we're always you're gonna apostle the, apostle Dahar said, you know, he doesn't even remember the last time he conscious consciously sinned. You know, in terms like we unconsciously sin, but you wanna. Be in a, in, a, in a space, a mindset where you're not consciously sinning, you know? I just wanted to touch upon the word because it said wither, you know, part of being wither means that you're cut off from the spirit. Mm. Uh, from Ashraf and Abishai. Uh, you know, a good example to look at is, is King Saul when the Lord cut him off because he wasn't able to have dreams. He yep. didn't get visions. Uh, he, his prophets weren't giving him dreams. That's right. And then Samuel died. Right. So he had nobody to really tell him of uh, the future and what's going to happen to him. That's right. right? So that, that's what it means when you're with it. You're totally cut off in spirit. Con. So when you don't uh, push the name of Yahweh, you know, Shai, and do the right things, hey, man, you're going to be with it. You're cut off. That's right. And we're seeing individuals like that. They're slowly being cut off, but they think they're prospering. Uh, individuals like uh, the IEYC mate, Nathaniel, right. he's going out there, you know, this guy's on pace to be a billionaire, but how'd he get that money? He had to rub a lot of dirty shoulders to get that money. Right? This guy's on pace to be a billionaire. And you say you're in the truth, you're suffering, you're a man of the Lord, you're a prophet. That's not how the prophets function. So, you know, that shows you that guy's slowly withering away. Uh, and he plans to establish churches throughout Africa oh, and uh, and India. Uh, you know, our people don't say, take over there, but come on, you're trying to sell up a church. And shit. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, Shema, yeah, yeah, Khan. Khan, the one. 1 Corinthians 16, verse 15. I beseech you, brethren, yea, know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. Mm. Gone. Gone. No, that was it, eh? Uh, okay. Uh, just to back up what uh, the Father was saying, uh, St. Corinthians 9 and 6. For this I say, he which sowed sparingly shall reap also sparingly. Ooh. And he which sowed bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he pur purposeth, purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly, or of necessity, for Yahweh love, loveth a cheerful giver. Right. You have to want it, like you said. You have to want to do it. It has to be in sincerity and truth. And you got to put in the work, man. You got to study. You got to go back over things. You got to go over breakdowns over and over because when Yahweh Shai sees that, he's like, oh, you want, you want to be close to me, right? Because the whole book is written of him. The prophecies, the laws, everything is of him. So reading and studying, you're, 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 you want, you're, you're, you're learning of Yahweh Shai. John 15 and 11. These things have I spoken unto you. 
that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Yeah. For my friends, if ye do what is whatsoever I command you. That's right. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Damn, man, that's, uh, that's heavy. We have, we're, we're so blessed to have this truth because, you know, when you go into the word friends, it means brothers, right? So we're, we're Yahawashai's brothers. So yeah, Lord willing, we're, we're of the whole elect. We're his little brothers, you know, and he's the big brother. And, you know, brothers that have siblings, you know how it is when somebody else touches your sibling outside of you, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, you throw down, you're taking that guy out. And you, you know, they say, only I can punch my brother. And that's Yahweh Shai. Only Yahweh Shai can, can, can knock us around and be like, yo, what's wrong with you? What are you doing? Well, when somebody else does it, he's like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, you're talking crazy about your brother. Oh, yeah, I can say that. Right. That's a beautiful thing, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yep. Beautiful. You know, that opened us up heavily to the spirit. Con, now con. Now we get the dark sayings. Now we know everything that's written in the book. Yeah, right? so yeah. That was very heavy on him putting his life on the line. It made us even more spiritual and powerful. Yeah, yeah, man. A better a better uh, priesthood. And then he the says, um, please, the Lord, to bruise him. Right? So when the Lord touches you up. <laughs> it's pleasing. <laughs> it pleases yeah. Hey, uh, Sirach 30 and 1, it says, He that teaches his sons grievous the enemy. And, uh, you know, it goes into, you know, um, bending your son's head down and causing him to feel the, the rod often. You know? Well, they're just they're seeing us acting a fool. Like, if you're on Young Street, past the end they say Jake spinning his head. You know what I mean? Why spin a head on an ice man? Chopping the man, you know? So, but we don't, it, it grieves Esau to see, why do you think part of it part, part in that? Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Because I'm teaching me to be logical with, with emotions. That's right. right. So you should just be emotional. Right, <laughs> right. Right? I believe it's Psalm Voltaire who said, those who create an act, you create a habit. Those who create a habit, you create a character. Those who create that character, you create your destiny. So that's something to think about. If you, if you keep living that way, it basically explains iniquity. Mm -hmm. They sit upon, sit upon, sit upon, sit and keep going. Because yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, 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 it's true. Yeah. It's a weird place, man. It's a place you can go out and have bacon strips. No, he says what? This place is everything is about sorcery and witchcraft. Like the C and E, you guys got that going on here, and I, I, you know, I'm from Rajan. I don't know what the hell all that is, but you guys, like you Babylonians, you guys, you guys, yeah, you guys fry Oreos. All that's all witchcraft and sorcery, man. Yeah, bread and circus. And she's mad that she didn't get a, get a damn corn dog. You know, yeah, you know the corn is a big pork. Bond, pork. Man. He's a, you know, he's a hot dog. His hot dog is better than pork. Man. You know? They're a parasite in your stomach. Yeah. She's mad about it. Well, everything, every witness in this society, it appeals to your pleasure, right? That you having a good pleasure out of fun, right? Con. Um, any brother got a preset? I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, brethren. <laughs> it said, I beseech your brethren by the uh, mercies of Yahweh that you present your in sacrifice holy acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Yeah. And see logics. And we start to turn it on both ways. And the blue letter, let's say logic, logical. Oh, for the sacrifice? Okay, I'm going to check it out. Yep. Yeah. The sacrifice is victim and um, service. Reason, reasonable is. Um, yeah, a 
sacrifice to victim. Yeah. Right. Um, um, reasonable. Sacrifice is, um, reasonable is um, logic. Logic, right. So then they said that, then the, that the root word it says to sacrifice, uh, immolate, to slay, kill, mm. uh, like a paschal lamb, slaughter. A hey, certain brother, certain men, slacker brother. Uh, certain men, certain brothers are actually going to literally be put to death. Be a literal sacrifice. You know? And that's, a, that's something to meditate on and think about. Because that could be any one of us. And that will keep a lot of rejects, you know, from what... Hmm. Know, know that this is what this is all about. This is not be mature. Like some brothers, that's their faith, but somebody get cut off, man. Right? Yeah. Or set up to tell you that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Cousin Peach is going to die. Straight. <laughs> straight. <laughs> straight up, man. It's, 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 it's full of lamentations and woe. That's right. Spoke, you know? That's right. I call Abraham, he, uh, you know, he tried, he tried to sacrifice, he was going to sacrifice uh, Isaac, but the Heavenly Father stopped him, right? But um, the Heavenly Father is the one who controls both and, and good and evil. So right. He could kill us. You know, anytime, you know. But when Isaac asked, where's the lamb? Mm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing that that was Yahweh Shai in his yeah. spirit. Right. He was going to be the lamb. Right. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, a foreshadowing. God, yeah. Yeah. The lamb. That's right. That's right. Come on. So this is uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white mm. and tried, which is really the elect, 144,000. Mm -hmm. And the wicked shall be wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, the wise shall understand, so the going into purifying, being purified is going into fiery trials. Mm -hmm. And also being made white means you are made pure. Mm -hmm. Right? So the reason why you may have on those white garments and you look that way is because you're set up probably to die too. You know, hmm. If you're always wearing white and you're always purified, that means you're set up to die on this side. Mm -hmm. Right? But in order for you to get white, you have to be tried and refined and you have to go just catching hell. So it's a period, a proper a process, I mean. Yeah. And that's, that's a secret. Yeah. And the secret that they may know in the Lord. Um, who that with um, Psalms uh, 25 and 14. It says that the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Right? And he will show them his covenant. Con. Right? So, 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 so the contract is being sh uh, 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 shown. Shown. That's right. So whether you want to sign this or not. Right. Hey, you know, they're not hidden there. Like Esau is leasing and you know, this is hidden there. Hey, this is what you deal with, man. Right? Yeah. Hey, you want to be part of it or not? Yeah. Okay? Right? Some brothers are going to bruise your spirit. Right? Because the Yahshua is going to have a rock of offense. So yeah. Man, I love, man. I love you. No, ain't about that, man. Some brothers are going to bruise your spirit, man. If yeah. If you're mentally, you can get offended. You know? Yeah. And might, oh, why leave you? This is how I say that. Why leave you? Yeah, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Con. Uh, verse Peter 4 and 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Amashiach, copied by ye, the spirit of the glory, and if Yahweh rested upon you on their part, on their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, mm. or as an evildoer, mm -hmm. or as a busybody in other man's matters. Mm -hmm. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, and that suffering is going to like like men who comes up years of Israel, because um, a murderer is basically causing them to willfully die. Right. So, if you're a leader of Israel and huh. teaching people not the truth, not according to the truth doctrine, your mercy can cause them to the other your house to kill them, yep. to murder them. Okay, you're causing it. No. So, Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify Yahweh on his behalf. And um, the reason why I brought that up is because you can either die for the Lord or take a, or die from, take a punishment from the heavenly God, a worldly punishment from the heavenly Father. So which one do you want to choose? Right. right. Pick, your, pick your poison. You know? like, right. The latter, one of them is not poison and the other is. Right. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the most high is the one that controls your spirit, man. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's a there's there's a way there's a way to do this walk. Right. You know there's a right way and a wrong way. Right. And uh, you you said that, uh, cause about the covenant. 
And when you go into a covenant and an agreement, it has stipulations, right? And uh, sub, sub clauses and clauses and whatnot. You know, the new covenant, you know, it starts with Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, those clauses and stipulations basically go to instruction. So you're learning, you're learning of Yahweh Shai, right? Uh, you're, you're learning of his attributes, his humility, you know, and everything brothers are talking about. You know, and you're trying to perfect that, you know, uh, being, we got to be made uh, purified for the bride or for the bridegroom. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead. Kabarga, go ahead. Speak up, brother. Yeah, go ahead. Ain't no pork around here, <laughs> man. Yo, mark this brother, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bombastic side eye. <laughs> Yeah. That's yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Romans 12, or 12 verse 2. Be not conformed, be not conformed to the world, but by renewing sorry, stop it, but by ye transforming by your by the renewal of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable, perfect will of the hour. Yeah. So we got to transform, you know, because basically, like, you know, like this place that they, that, that they want to suppress us, right? So we got to still, you know, hold our, our faith and, you know, and like fight the good fight. Yeah. You know? Got to exercise spiritually. Yeah. Because the world is pushing more darkness. That's right. Every month, every day. That's right. More dark. So 
Hey man, Khan, Khan, yo, you know, and you can tell that, like, you know, if you go, if you go a day without, let's say you do, not doing a lesson or, or you, you don't do a lesson on a day that you plan to do a lesson, the next day you feel like, you feel off, you know, and, or whatever, you know, if you're, if you don't, if you go like two days without reading the scriptures or whatnot, you feel off, you know, and that's just, that, that's, uh, that represents how much wicked spirits are out here. And, and the Lord is letting them loose by the day. And the Lord is going to be with Hebrews first, or Psalms 79, right? He was first, man. Yeah. That's right, man. Yeah, like Paul, like Saul, when you go into that evil spirit the Lord sent him, uh, in the NLT it says that he was full of depression and uh, he was stressed out. And it makes sense because of what? what what uh samuel told him would, would happen you know so when you get like that in the in this faith and this walk you have to identify that as being a demon uh, you, you know <laughs> that's right yeah you have to fast you have to cleanse yourself like the apostles like you're doing your cleansing you know because it's very deep we have all kind of parasites in us man everything is spiritual yeah, yeah. we have all kind of parasites so when you do like a cleanse and stuff and you gotta pray man you gotta pray right yeah 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 Ephesians 6 verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of Yahweh that he may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. Mm -hmm. Trickery, there was a trickery, man. Mm -hmm. Because remember, he was the most subtlest beast. All these created the most subtlest. That's right. right? It's a blind, it's treacherous, man. Yeah. Right? And that's why it's important to get into prophecy, above all. Because, like, Esau sends a lot of false flags. And, and you know this that and the third like you know when um remember when that image that nasa posted and it looked like an angel or like yahweh shy and Sunbeam. yeah yeah Sunbeam. or Sunbeam. blue being you know and that like you know whether whether it was real or not didn't matter but um you know certain brothers kind of got overexcited on, on it you know and there's a lot of things that you saw like a lot of brothers were focusing on uh world war three and forgetting about the fact that the CHIP has to play out, you know, because because Esau is pushing war, 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 because he knows what's up. He knows the prophecy. See, confuse brothers and you know make brothers you know, consulting with the Lord, distract. So you got to stay in prophecy. So you're staying, you're 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 in line with, with you know, in the right direction. There, um, Donald Trump is going up before before the court. This is the they're actually televising it. That's the first. Yeah, that's all the show. Yeah. Matthew 24, verse 23. Then it shall say unto you, Lo, here is a Mashiach. For there, believe it not. For there shall arise false from Mashiachs and false prophets, and shall grow and shall show great signs and wonders. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So just like the brother was saying, talking about the Project Bluebeam, you know, Esau might show a Project Bluebeam with chariots. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. brothers might get pumping. Mm -hmm. so yeah, because they already did it. I think they did it. I saw a video on YouTube. I think it was in Arizona or something, and they were and they used the Project. They used the Project Bluebeam. Uh, it, it was like a chariot. Yeah. Right. But but it was like it was an illusion. Right. right. It wasn't an actual chariot. Right. There is their technology. Right. So they're deceiving people. Right. So they have that technology. So you might you might be walking down the street. Yeah. Like, there's a chariot, but like you don't know if it's a real chariot or not. Right. Mm -hmm. well, a lot of rappers are, are they're actually incorporating that in their shows now. Yeah. They're doing the the Star Wars technology, the holograms. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, Drake has yeah. yeah, the chariot in his, his show. You got the chair there too? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Then Tupac have a whole show with 
Um, hologram? Yeah, the hologram. Yeah, the hologram. <laughs> hologram. Yeah, I think he had the tall guy. Uh, I forgot. I think he was like a fashion designer or whatever. And then they had like a, a I think like a kite. But it was a hologram. Oh, wow. But it looks like a real image, but it's not. Mm -hmm. So like that's his cunning art. It's crap. Yeah. And spirit of UFO was being pushed that way too. Because yeah, yeah. Um, last month we saw uh, the military bring to Congress that um, there's aliens. Right, and they, and they found all this, this information. Right, and they, they 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 actually salvaged bodies that are not that are not human. This is a lie. We know that's a goddamn lie. Right. But they're getting that technology. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop it. yeah. So they're getting that technology from the left hand side, right? You know, because they're wise, right? Yeah. On the left hand side. Yeah. 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 Wise Daniel, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I still have a well, fusion. Okay. Okay. But go ahead. Okay, first, yeah. um, just a quick one. First Corinthians 9, first, yeah, first Corinthians 1, first Corinthians 9, and 25. And every man that's struggling for the mastery is temperate in all things. So the reason why I read that is because the brothers are also going to, uh, the flower going into prophecy. But earlier we were talking about the emotional stuff like that, right? So if you're trying to be like so called so called a pro, you gotta be temperate in all things, not just one sided. You gotta be balanced. Yeah. All right? It has to be everything. You can't be focused on one thing, now you're off balance. Mm -hmm. You know all these other things, but then when it comes to subjective things, right. you're all emotional and shit. Right. Right? And that's gonna leak into the other things. Right? right? So you gotta balance it out. If you're doing this, okay, now I gotta start focusing on myself. What am I bad at? Where are these things? You gotta start examining yourself. Right. And that's the beauty of a brother or two, because exactly. everybody is skilled in something else. You can actually learn something yeah, exactly. that you don't have from the brother. Exactly. Yeah. That's why like, on the team, there's guys that have, like you said, that uh, strengths in this, strengths in that. So when they rub together, like iron sharp with iron, yeah. they all get yeah. sharp. Yeah. Oh, sure. oh, um, now they do it to obtain a corruptible, corruptible crowd, but we are in incorruptible. Right? So yeah, Howard Shai was perfect. So he was balanced with everything. Right. Everything. Yeah. When it came to prophecy, when it came to himself, when it came to the other three brothers, telling them there's something you need to work on, he's able to see all that. Obviously, we're not yet high, we're trying to be like him, so we have to try to do the same thing. Right? Be perfect as your father in heaven. Yeah. If I get add on to that, real quick, because you see how in this world, this, uh, they, they're big on, they're, they big up their politicians, and their president, their prime minister, well, you know, we're in the kingdom, man, we're going to have that, those roles, and we're going to be governing by them. Guidance, yeah. Guidance, all these things. We have a righteous, uh, quote unquote, fame. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's not going to be corrupted, man. Right? It's going to be in the spirit of truth. That's, you know, that's, that's what we're striving for. Uh, yeah. To be you know, in our proper order. Right? Yeah. You know? And it was already fulfilled. The Halachai already fulfilled it. Power is for uh, for those who will bend down and pick it up, you know. So we have to learn to serve and be servants. That's what we're learning right now: how to be servants, so that in hopes we can be kings. Right. We'll learn darkness, right, and, 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 and negative and positive, and negative and positive bring forth light. Right. right? Proverbs eleven verse one: A false a false balance is abomination to the Lord, and an unjust weight is his delight. So we gotta know the good and the evil, but we're staying in the in the good, you know, because this, yeah, this yeah. place is corrupt, man. This place is is, is like designed to destroy us. Absolutely. So we gotta, you know, like stay on the right hand side, because they're going left, they're going far left, man. You know, it's like a point of no return, right? That's right. It's a constant fight. Yeah. You have to constantly fight. Hey, uh, one more precept. We're gonna close up. Uh, 
Deuteronomy 16 and 13. Thou shalt observe the Feast of Tabernacles seven days after that thou hast gathered in thy corn and thy wine. And thou shalt rejoice in thy feast, thou and thy son and thy daughter, and thy manservant and thy maidservant, and the Levite, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow that are within thy gates. Seven days shalt thou keep a solemn feast unto Yahweh thy power, in the place which Yahweh shall choose, because Yahweh thy power shall bless thee in all thine increase, in all the works of thine hands. Therefore thou shalt surely rejoice. Three times in a year shall all thy males appear before Yahweh thy power in the place which he shall choose, in the feast of unleavened bread, and in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of tabernacles. Right. And they shall not appear before Yahweh empty. Every man shall appear oh, as he is kind. able. According to his blessing. Yeah, yeah. Of you're gonna you, power. You're gonna have to read that again because read that again. Read that again. Three times in a year shall all thy males appear before Yahweh thy power in the place which he shall choose. Mm -hmm. In the feast of unleavened bread, and in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of tabernacles, and mm -hmm. they shall not appear before Yahweh empty. Empty, man. So you have you have to do you have to do the work. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do the work. You can't you can't come em empty-handed, man, you know? Well, well, it says to guard yourself, right? Yeah. Right, right yeah, yeah. You know? That's right. That's Every right. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of Yahweh thy power, which he hath given thee. See, so maximize your measure, man. Whatever your measure is, you know, you should know that. You got to be in tune with the spirit. You got to maximize your measure. And continue on, man. That's that's as simple as it gets. It's not easy, but it's a simple thing. Also, not coming empty-handed to the feast too. Just want to bring and contribute as well. That goes into that as well. Con, yeah, yeah, con, con, absolutely, yep. All right, con. So that's it uh, for this live lesson on the Feast of Tabernacles. Lord willing, it was edifying to the whole full elect of the nation of Israel. We're gonna close by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. Shim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakadash, and uh, double honors to the apostles, Elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and the style of this word in truth and sincerity. Peace and mercy to the old full elect that also pushes his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, starting with the whole, starting with the 144,000. As well as you uh, sincere Aquath out there, peace and mercy to you and your household. All right, we're going to say a baba ball. A baba ball. All right, and uh, low will into next feast, or next time we say shalom to the old full elect. Shalom to the old full elect. Call me Allah.